Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Calder here with Dial H for Hero Clips. We're kicking off week two with some pizza. Now, there's plenty to go around and there's plenty to share, and it wouldn't be nice of me to, to eat all this pizza. So we're gonna take some of these pizza boxes, we're gonna put them to the side, and we're gonna crack open the pizza box that I am super excited to get into. But first off, the pizza box is really funny. It's got the old style kind of New York pizza feel to it with that checkered pattern and everything. You can see a lot of the pizza box characters. You can see the Groots, you can see the Hulks, you can see Kate and Lucky. Collect the whole party, the entire pizza party. What I really like here is on this side, you see a little spot for the customer name and then you get to see all of the people that are in it as if they are like the toppings to the pizza. Baby Groot, Iwa, Hulk, She-Hulk, Lucky, Kate, and then extra cheese, meatball, pepperoni, and sausage. And this one even has a little red uh, mark through Hulk and She-Hulk, which is really cool. And it says what's included on the pizza box. So not only it has more toppings here like pineapple, black olives, if that's what you want. Uh, but our toppings are two character cards, two team up cards, one bystander and one pizza object. So let's crack it open. We got two Hulk figures, Hulk and Shield, like we talked about before. We have some cards and we have the objects. So let's take a look at the standard objects here. They look pretty simple. A little bit of packaging around it. All right, the bystander, oh, that's pretty cool. So the pizza object is an empty pizza box. It's got two slices of less leftover pizza left. It's kind of fun. Next phase in the back. And then the bystander is a Jen Walters, which is her doing her little thumbs up from the main set. And she is a six range, six speed, 10 attack, 16 defense, zero damage, in cap willpower outwit, 20 points, but she's also a wild card, which there can be some shenanigans to go on there. So that's that Jen Walters, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and pop these guys out. Pizza boxes, we have 205 and 206 Hulk and She-Hulk. So we'll start off with She-Hulk here. Clocking in at 100 or 50 points. We'll grab her card and then we'll look at her team up card. Avengers Brute Celebrity, she is a wild card. Trait is Beach Brawl, super strength. When She-Hulk knocks back an opposing character and their knockback path is stopped by blocking terrain, the knockback damage they're dealt is penetrating and after resolutions you destroy that blocking terrain. That's pretty cool. They're punching you so hard you go through the wall, you destroy it and you take a penetrating damage. That's hilarious, I like that. And then, oh, this is cool. So is that correct? Okay. So her second trait is revert to gen. When She-Hulk would be KO'd, you may instead replace her with a B013, Jen Walters. B is usually bystander, so I assume that means you gotta make this Jen Walters bystander is what that would be. Unless, which one of these is Jen? Nope, this is the main set Jen, she is 017. So B is the Jen Walters bystander, that's kinda neat. Her special attack power, so she's got like a charge, she has shape change, she goes on to a Flurry Precision Strike, Invincible. She's got Heavy Reducers, her entire dial, three damage the entire time. And she also destroys blocking when she moves through, which is really cool. But her special attack power is Sonic Claps. So she kind of claps a few times in the show. Hulk usually uses like the one big one, and you kind of see her do it a couple of times when she's fighting Hulk. So this is very much them fighting each other on the beach. Quake, when She-Hulk uses it, she may choose a direct line away from her. Terrain markers, blocking terrain, and characters within four squares along that direct line are treated as adjacent. Oh, wow. That is really cool. Okay. And that's when she uses it. So she can charge and then choose a line within four squares. A direct line away from her. Yeah. Wow. That's really, really, really cool. Okay. So it's a bit of a ranged quake. That's super unique. And of course, they're getting knocked back. And then her trait, her beach ball trait will still happen. So if they're, you barrier around all these guys, you could knock them all into that barrier with that quake, deal them an extra penetrating damage, and then destroy that. That's really cool. This is a really fun piece. I really like it. That is still available at her 50 point line. I think that's her winner of a point line here. Let's look at her team up card. Really quickly, I want to make sure some things are different. So she's got some different things. So she does not have, oh gosh, <laughs> jeez. Her team up, she gains uh, Avengers Brute Celebrity, is Hulk and Captain America. 
So super strength, once per turn, friendly character with listed names on the map. When shield destroys a blocking terrain, she may generate and immediately pick up a pizza object, which we saw. Cool. Her second trait is gossiping about Steve. Probability control, when She-Hulk uses it, she may target a friendly character holding a pizza object regardless of range and line of fire. That's pretty cool. So we can see there's already ways for her to generate and pick up a pizza object. Um, wow, it is very much from that one scene. C cool, very cool. I awesome. Let's move on to <laughs> let's move on to Hulk. That's such a silly, such a silly thing to reference. And I really like that. I like how wacky that is, and I really like her abilities. So that's She-Hulk. Let's take a look at Bruce. He has that same beach ball trait. Beach brawl. Goodness gracious, that's tough. Uh, he is Avengers Brute, Celebrity, and Scientist. He also destroys blocking when he moves through it. He's also 150. He goes into more of a leap climby quake guy at the end there. He's a little smarter up top with some precision strike outwit. And he has Finding Balance. At the beginning of your turn, you may choose a click number. If you do, until your next turn, Hulk can use the powers printed on that click number of his card instead of his displayed powers. Okay. That's really interesting. So even if he's on either set of powers, his Leap Climby, Close Combat Expert powers, or his Top Dial powers, he can just switch out. That's kind of interesting. He always has all of his powers, and he can choose which power set he wants to use. His special speed for his first four clicks are Stopping Gem. Charge, Plasticity, when Hulk is knocked back by an opposing effect, after resolutions, you may place him up to one square away from his current square. So he doesn't get knocked back easily. He's gonna walk a little bit uh, forward, to make sure he's not just getting pushed around. I kind of like that. So that's fun. Charge plasticity with that precision strike and everything. That's pretty cool. All right, and then his team up is with She-Hulk and Iron Man. Same thing though, it's super strength. Once per turn for friendly character with a listed name is on the map. When he destroys blocking terrain, she, <laughs> I think it means he, may generate and immediately pick up a pizza object. His second trait is, well, Tony mostly just complained about Steve. Once per turn, when a friendly character, the Avengers keyword heals. After resolutions, you may remove an action token from that character. That could go really, really well with a lot of Avengers that heal. I know a lot of Avengers, uh, a 60th pieces, had a lot of willpower, leadership, special healing with that Captain America, and that Iron Man could heal people, so that's really cool. So that is Hulk and She-Hulk, the first crew at the table with our pizza party. Let me know what you think of Hulk and Shield. I think they're really fun. I like taking characters from a very specific scene from that very first episode. And it's one of my favorite episodes of She-Hulk. I thought it was a really cool way to start the show off. So stay tuned for tomorrow where there's going to be even more pizza waiting for you.